Trek, and today we are going to learn all about trucks. Are you excited? Do you like monster trucks and tow trucks and big trucks and little trucks? I love trucks and I'm so excited to learn all about them. Well, our journey with trucks is going to start from the beginning. We get to look at a couple of old trucks, some of the first trucks ever created. So, our journey begins here in Richmond, Indiana at the Model T Museum. I am so excited to learn about Model T's and trucks. Let's get started. trucks are over a hundred years old. Isn't that incredible? These are some of the first trucks ever made. And this right here is a fire truck. Isn't that so exciting? Well, guess what? I have a special friend I want to introduce you to. This is Jerry and he put this truck together. He built it and he helps preserve it. Thanks so much, Jerry. Uh, you're welcome. Wow, so this fire truck looks a lot more simple than the fire trucks we have today, but still very complicated and intricate. So can you tell me about some of these levers and stuff? Well, basically it's just like a, 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 a normal Model T. You've got your spark control here, you've got your throttle over here, you've got your emergency brake here, wow. and the steering wheel. But it is a lot simpler than what the fire trucks would be today. Wow, can you imagine being a firefighter and you're just like, load on up, boys, we're heading to put out a fire. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Is there a siren on this truck? Yeah, let's walk around the back. One of the people that would have ridden in the fire truck would have had to climb up on the back here. Oh, okay. And turn that crank. What? Okay, this is the siren. <laughs> This is a water nozzle that they would have hooked up to the hose like in a fire hydrant or something. Oh, okay. These would have been handheld fire extinguishers and a fireman would have taken off and squirted the fire out. Usually they're red, but look at these old ones. Those are really cool looking. Whoever sat up in the left seat, or the right seat up here, would have had a like <laughs> Oh, boy. We're coming, guys. Hold on. Make your way. Wow, check out these tires. This fire truck is a 1920 fire truck, and back then, the tires were really thin. Oh boy. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, well now, Jerry's gonna start it up, and we're gonna take a ride with Dave. This is so exciting. Do you wanna hear what the engine sounds like? Oh boy, here we go. Another truck. 
What kind of truck is this? Oh, it's a grocery truck. Oh my goodness. Here on this truck, they sold a bunch of produce, but look at the price of this produce. Cucumbers were only three cents back then. That's not very much money nowadays, but back then, that was just about right. Whoa, look at this. Can you imagine a grocery store on wheels driving right past your house? It's kind of like an ice cream truck, but it's got produce. That's so cool. Oh, and it's so big. Look at the inside of the cab. Do you see down here? This is all wood paneling, and we've got the brake. Oh, wow, and the steering wheel. Look at these seats. They look super cozy. This truck is so amazing. Wow, guess what? There are a lot more trucks at this museum, so let's go check them out. Wow, look at all of these different trucks. These are all Model T trucks, and different businesses customize them to meet their different needs. Some of them are over a hundred years old. Isn't that incredible? Oh boy, like this one over here. Look at this. This right here is a concession truck. Do you know what the word concession means? It means to serve food. Oh boy, look inside. Look at it, they call it the purple cow. <laughs> oh boy, it was made in 1925. Oh wow, that's almost a hundred years ago. Look, they sold popcorns, peanuts, hot dogs. And this one right here is a fuel truck. Check it out. Do you see this big fuel tank back here? Oh boy, it probably delivered gasoline to different gas stations. It's got a gas, kerosene, oil tank. That's pretty neat. Wow, this is a tow truck. <laughs> Have you ever seen an old tow truck like this before? Well, we've seen a big giant pink one, but I've never seen such an old tow truck. What an incredible start. Look at this. This is such a heavy duty metal machine. And you can have a hitch right here. People used to use this big auto crane to hook up automobiles to the back of this hitch right here and tow it out of a hard spot. Isn't that so cool? This one here they call Tow Mater. <laughs> That's super fun. Wow, check out the snowmobiles. Look at, we have a newer one and an old one over here. Oh, do you see this old one? It's got wood all over it. It looks like it has a story to tell. And you know what? I think it does. So I'm going to ask Michaela if she knows anything about this special snowmobile. Hi, Michaela. This snowmobile looks like it has a story to tell. And I wondered if you knew any fun things about it. Absolutely. This snowmobile here was handmade by a postman up in Minnesota. It's made out of Hoosier cabinets. What? Hoosier cabinets? So does that mean he took cabinets off of his own house to build this? Yes. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look at these chains. Isn't that incredible? That is a really creative and ingenuitive postman. Wow, this does not look like the ambulances that we see on the roads nowadays, huh? This ambulance was built in 1924. Isn't that incredible? Look at all the wood finishing. Oh, wow. Look, they even have the red cross on there signifying a medic. That's cool. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a big dump truck. Oh boy, we've seen a dump truck before, haven't we? But have you seen a Model T dump truck? Wow, it's maroon. I love that color, it's really pretty. Look at down here. Oh, hey, look at the feet. There must be a mechanic down there working on it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> just kidding, it's just for show and tell. That's not actually a real person. <laughs> oh boy, look at the cab. <gasps> Wow, wee. Wow, can you imagine being a dump truck driver? Filling up the back with dirt and dumping it out? Oh boy, I bet it's really useful for farmers. Ooh, that's a really pretty inside of a dump truck. Oh wow. Check out this farm truck over here. Oh wow, look at that. Can 
1925? They probably used this to deliver some milk or something. Oh boy, farmers all over the United States could drive this thing around. It's super cute. I love all the wood on there. Now that we've got to learn about and see Model T's and learn about the history of some trucks, are you ready to go see some small RC trucks? Come on, let's continue our journey. Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about Model T's? Well, now it's time to learn about little tiny trucks. Check this out. Oh boy, this right here is a remote control truck. Wow. I'm with PNW RC Madness. This is Chris and Gemma. How's it going, guys? Wow, this is so exciting. I'm really excited to learn about RC trucks. Have you ever seen an RC truck up close before? I sure haven't. Oh boy, well, I can't wait to see these in action. Let's get started. RC stands for remote control. Check it out. You see this right here? They're holding controls. That's awesome. So Chris, can we take a closer look at this truck? Definitely. All right. Let me just pull off these body pins right here. Ooh. These hold on the body so it doesn't fly off when you crash. Wow, that's pretty cool. So once we get these off, well, check it out, guys. First, look at these big monster tires. Whoa, there's four big tires on this truck. Wow, check this out. There's foam inside of these tires. Isn't that cool? All right, so, whoa, look at all this. That looks kind of complicated, doesn't it? So in order to make the wheels turn, Breck, this is the servo. Ooh. It's also powered right here by the receiver. Wow, check that out. And what makes this truck go is there's a motor right inside there. Oh, okay. And what is this called? This big long thing connecting these two tires. So these are big monster axles. Axles. Make it jump really high and. Whoa, and you see these springs? Those are shocks. <gasps> That's so cool. So what fuels this truck? So in order to make this truck go, it just has one 2S LiPo battery. Oh. And I just strap it down right in there. Okay, how long does it take to charge that battery? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes? That's not long at all. And then how long does it run for? Well, we could probably plug it in and take it for a drive. Okay, let's do it. Here, Brecky Breck, here's the remote. Whoa, this looks really complicated. Can you show me what these parts mean or how do I operate this thing? Well, it's actually pretty simple, Brecky. This makes the wheels turn. Okay. This button right here gives it gas. Okay. Oh, how do you go backwards? You just push this right here forward. Oh. Whoa, did you see that? Well, you want to go try it out in the dirt? Come on. All right, Chris and Gemma, can I see these trucks in action? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's 
race. All right, on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure I've seen this truck before. Only it was huge. You want to check it out? Were we straight up racing today? And guess what? We are gonna watch a monster truck show! Have you ever been to a monster truck show before or learned about monster trucks? Well, today is our lucky day! Oh man, I cannot wait to explore! Come on! Oh my goodness, do you see these big semi trucks? Well, they are full of monster trucks. truck trailer oh man this is so awesome these big old ramps right here this folds down and the trucks just roll right up onto here right here and right here oh boy that means you can crawl under it and work on it if you needed to wow this is awesome wow all these trucks have their own characteristics and name this one right here it's identity theft oh boy well good luck today identity theft <laughs> And check this orange one out. This one's called a crash test dummy. <laughs> That's pretty silly. This one's name is Spitfire. <laughs> These are super creative names. Oh man, you see this big truck? Its name is the Weekend Warrior. <laughs> I like that. Wow, we're here with Crash Test Dummy and I want to look at some of the parts up close before they put these giant tires on. So look at these shocks right here. These are the shocks and this goes up and down so he can do big jumps. Woohoo! This right here is the engine. Isn't this crazy? Whoa, that's a big engine because this truck has a lot of power. It's got to propel these thousand pound tires over big jumps. That must take a lot of energy. 
This right here is the exhaust. Oh man, whoa, that's gotta look cool. Check out this fuel tank right here. That's pretty big. And this right here is a hydraulic jack and it will lift up this truck so that we can put the tires on it easier. That's the hydraulic jack in action. This is my friend Dallas right here, and he's taking off all the lug nuts of the tire so we can take this one off and put the big ones on. Isn't that cool? monster truck driver for a day? Well, I can't actually drive this monster truck at the uh, show tonight, but I can pretend. You want to see me get all dressed up and jump into the cab? Oh boy! Oh man, check it out! I get to reel the real crash test dummy too. And it's even a little fire resistant too. Wow! Check out this helmet. Look at this, you see this? This is a neck and back brace. And when you put this helmet on, you can strap this up around your waist so it helps hold your back straight because when these things are flipping around, you do not want to break your neck or your back. That is really dangerous. So that's extra safety precautions. Pretty cool, huh? Let's put it on. All right, check it out. Hey, it's me. You see that? For stabilization, pretty cool. All right, well, now we're going to climb into the cab of this big truck. Oh, man. Oh, check it out. I'm inside the cab of this monster truck. There's a special seatbelt that you can put on right here, and it keeps you locked in. And then over here, see down here? There's a ratchet, and you ratchet yourself tight into this one spot, and it holds you really steady. And look at this, this is the steering wheel and you can pop it on like this. You see this lever right here? This lever controls the back tires. It makes the back tires move. Isn't that so cool? And of course we have the gas pedal right here and the brake. Look at this, we've got an oil gauge and the water temperature. This is so cool. You see this thing right here? In case there's a fire, you'd pull out the pin and pull this and then fire retardant would come out of these spots right here. You see up there? That's an awesome safety measure, huh? Well, I feel like a real monster truck driver. Oh yeah, look at me, I'm a real monster truck driver! Awesome. Whoa, check out the cab of Rockstar. It's got two seats in it. That's pretty awesome. This is my friend Dallas. Hey, how's it going? Glad what? you guys could make it out. Oh, thank you so much. And guess what? He is the creator of Crash Test Dummy. So Dallas, how long did it take you to build this big truck? It took me about six years just to build what you see here. Oh, wow. That is a lot of hard work put into this. So are you going to be driving this today? Actually, usually I drive this truck, but this weekend, I'm not going to be driving it. I'm going to hand the keys over to my friend John. Oh, cool. So he's actually going to be the announcer today. So we're going to get to hang out with Dallas later. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. All right, Dallas. Well, I'll let you get back to getting everything ready for tonight's show. We'll see you later. Sounds good. This is so much fun learning about monster trucks. What a great day. Ready, because the mo 
monster trucks are going to have their show in this arena and they're going to drive over these big crash cars. So we're picking them up, painting them a blue and yellow and it's going to be so awesome. Whoa, you see that big forklift right there? Well, he's grabbing another car to bring over there to paint. Let's go watch him paint. That's the color blue. It's super pretty too. Right on! The trucks are all cleaned up. We've checked them. They're ready to drive. And now we're getting ready to start the parade. This is going to be a parade of trucks going all the way over to the arena through the fairgrounds. Oh man, I cannot wait! monster trucks. So, Dwight, what are we looking at here? So, you have our shocks. That's what oh. absorb the the jumps when we jump big. Oh, that and sounds like fun. You have brakes, which typically go on your wheels for a car, but we have it there on a oh. monster truck just because they're so big. Wow. Drive lines, that's what make it go forward and backwards. Of course, tires. So, we have our steering rams, that's what make it turn. Wait, so do the back tires turn too? Yes, so front and rear tires turn. That's pretty awesome. Right here, as you can see, we have an engine. That's what makes our all of our power to turn these massive 66 inch tires. That's a 1500 horsepower engine. That is a big engine. So we also have all of the green bars, the tubes that you see, that is our chassis. That's the structure <laughs> of a monster truck. Wow, so where do you find a monster truck like this? Actually, we built pretty much all of this. They built this entire truck. Isn't that so awesome? And you can see Straight Up Racing's emblem all throughout the truck. Check it out. 
Wow, that's a lot of different parts of this big truck, huh? Well, thanks a lot, Dwight. I can't wait to watch you drive this monster. <laughs> of course, hopefully it's a good show tonight. <laughs> They just went through and inspected all of the trucks and looked for all of the safety shutoff valves and lines. So that way they know if there starts a fire, they know how to shut off the fuel pump. And now they're gonna go have a safety meeting to talk with all the drivers. Safety first. There they are, they're having their safety meeting. Wow, because of this crew and them taking safety seriously, they can travel with this show all over the country and even the world. Isn't that so fun? We're at the pit party, and this is where the fans get to come and meet the drivers and have them sign their autograph on some special merch. Isn't that awesome? Well, check this out. This is my friend Lorna. And guess what? Her and her husband Bill are the owners of Straight Up Racing, and she's actually a driver of this monster truck. Rockstar, isn't that awesome? Wow, Lauren, are you excited? I am so excited for today. Today is going to be a great day, beautiful day, and we go get to crush some cars. Woohoo! And look at this cool helmet she gets to wear. Wow, I love the pink <laughs> hair. That's really fun. All right, well, good luck out there today, Lauren. Thank you. All right, well, we just wrapped up the pit party, and now it's time to get ready for the show. Are you excited? Oh boy, well let's go grab our seat up in the stands, come on! Wow, look at this! We're in the stands now, but guess what? Today, we're going to sit with Dallas up in the sound booth. Come on, I'll show you! Wow, check this out! This right here is the sound booth. We'll get to sit up here and look at that view! Yeah, you can be the winner of a special prize with a social media giveaway. It's from Tour on Facebook.com. Wow, Dallas is a really good announcer, isn't he? Oh, good job, Dallas. Wow, check it out. Here comes the drivers. The show's about to start. Oh, boy. Wow, so as Dallas is talking to the drivers down there, we have a sound guy right here, and he's turning on awesome music for all the drivers and now All right, well the stands are just about full, so the show's about to start.
Thanks, Chris. They sure are talented. That was amazing. Good job, guys. Woo! Wow, Dallas, good job. That was awesome. Well, now that the show's over, all the fans are leaving. So guess what that means? That means the drivers and the crew, they got to clean up that big mess. This was the best day ever. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Now it's time to listen to the Monster Truck song. Yeah.